be doing a wall run tutorial on this. Now, I know it's been a while, so I'm sorry guys, I apologize. But today we're gonna be learning something new. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, so bear with me. But today we're gonna be going through a huge walkthrough on how to do this step by step. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get good running shoes that have a decent amount of grip and make sure that you find a wall that is taller than you. I think that's a big uh, part because anyone can climb a wall that isn't taller than you. So find a wall that's taller than you. This wall is really taller than you. Okay, so there's steps on doing this. Now the first step is to push back and up off the wall with your foot. Now you're gonna wanna do it back and up. You can't just put your momentum up. You gotta make it so you're grip. So the first step is to push your leg back and off the wall, not up. When you push and repel yourself off the wall, you gotta do a little bit of backward and up momentum to get that extra boost. Because if not, your foot will just slip off the wall. So that's the first step. And then the second step, you're gonna grab the wall and you're gonna go into cat. Now cat position is when you put your feet up and you're ready to push off the wall with your legs to do that last lift with your body. Now that's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get used to, but as soon as you get it, it's easy from there. Now, to recap, it's literally as simple as backing off the wall, grab the wall, and lift up. The only time you're gonna have to have practice is when you're learning actually how to get that momentum off the wall. And then once when you get that, it's really simple. Now I'm gonna show you some demonstrations, and then from there you guys can take it, and then you can work with that and learn from there. So here's the first one, Let's do it right here. All right, so a few questions I get as well is if you should be using two feet or one feet on the wall right now. You can start with one and then learn two after. Uh, that's what I did, but you could also just go right into two. But it really doesn't matter. Honestly, I can get the same lift with one foot on the wall than I can with two feet on the wall. So it's all up to you and honestly, your personal choice for momentum. But keep in mind that you can get a bit higher maybe if you learn with two feet. So recap, you tap off the wall go into cat, and from cat you pull yourself up. And literally it's not hard after that, but uh, you can work on different approaches and different momentum to get your own technique. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked the tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. I'll be making some Spider-Man videos soon, this summer. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next video.